Are you tired of the tedious grind of building and releasing Flutter applications, managing multiple environments, ensuring compatibility, and distributing your app? It can feel overwhelming, right? What if there was a way to simplify all of this? Introducing Flutter Release X, our package of the week. Flutter Release X is a game-changing command line tool designed to streamline your Flutter app release process. With its intuitive design and powerful features, you can say goodbye to complex CI-CD pipelines. With just a single command, you can effortlessly build, upload, and share your app. But enough talk, let's see it in action. Search Flutter Release X and add to your project as shown. You can use this package as an executable as well as use this package as a library in your project. Let's quickly add this package to our project. Great! We have successfully added this package as an executable, let's check, by running command FRX or Flutter Release X as shown. Awesome! It's running perfectly. Now comes the exciting part. Let's dive in and configure it to make it truly shine. Stick around. This is where the magic happens. Let's quickly create a config file in your root directory, as shown. Great. Now let's just copy the boilerplate real quick. Now here let's config flutter binary path. Like in our case it's Windows so we have to give complete path with format like .bat. Here's our flutter path, let copy it real quick, and don't forget to add format in the end as shown. Great! We've successfully configured the flutter path. Now, let's disable the cloud options for now since we haven't generated the credentials yet. We'll come back to this later. We've temporarily disabled all cloud options and left the QR configurations set to their default settings for now. Don't worry, we'll tweak them later to fit our needs perfectly. Let's verify our config settings. Run FRX build, S is shown. Here you can verify all your configs. Congratulations! We have successfully configured basic setup, but wait, time for upload options, GitHub where our release build will be uploaded automatically. For GitHub, we need GitHub personal access token, repository path, and tag for the build. So let's set up it real quick. Click on Generate GitHub Token, as shown. Don't forget to add a note. This will help you remember its purpose in the future. And choose expiry of the token. Under Select Scopes, make sure to select Repo for full control of private repositories, as shown here. This is essential because it allows the token to access and manage your private repositories, ensuring seamless upload and management of your release builds. Great! Now scroll down and generate token, and don't forget to copy it as you won't be able to see it again. Once done, paste it in your config file. Also add your repo path like your username slash repository name. Now, let's add this config file to our .gitignore file. This step is crucial to ensure it doesn't get pushed to production, as it contains sensitive information like secrets. Awesome! Now it's time to see it in action. Run the command FRX build, and once the build completes, it will prompt you with cloud options. Select option 1 for GitHub, and it will automatically upload the build to GitHub. Plus, it will generate a downloadable link and a QR code for easy sharing. Great! 
build is generated successfully. Right now, there aren't any releases yet, as shown. Congratulations! Our release has been successfully uploaded to GitHub, complete with a downloadable link and an awesome QR code. Remember, you can always tweak the QR settings in your config file whenever you need to. But hold on, let's move on to the next cloud option, Google Drive. Scroll down to Google Drive configuration and let's follow the steps real quick. Search Google Cloud Console and create a new project or choose any existing project. For this video, let's create a demo project real quick. While it's getting created, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share this with your friends. You don't want them to miss out on this awesome tool. Great! Let's choose our project and search Google Drive API and enable it, as shown. While our Google Drive API is getting enabled, did you smash that subscribe, like, and share button yet? No? Well, what are you waiting for? Pause the video, hit those buttons, and we'll be right here, waiting for you. Awesome! Now, let's dive in and create those credentials in no time. Click on User Data and then hit Done, just like shown here. Next, click on Credentials and proceed to configure the consent screen as shown. Next, click on External as shown. Now add app name and email real quick and click save and continue. Now let's add the scope real quick. Click on add or remove scopes. Search for Google Drive API and select both Google Drive API and Google Drive API auth slash drive. This is important because these scopes will allow the app to access and manage files on your Google Drive, ensuring smooth uploads and management of your release builds. And make sure it's auth slash drive, not auth slash docs. And once done, Click Update. Great! We've successfully added the scope. Now, let's add a test user, the account we'll use to access and authenticate our Google Drive. Once done, click Save and Continue. Now go to Credentials tab and create OAuth Client ID as shown. In application type, choose desktop and click create. Congratulations! We've successfully generated the client ID and secret. Now, let's quickly copy them into our config file and keep things rolling. And don't forget to enable Google Drive. As our Google Drive is currently empty, so let's see Flutter release X in action, run command FRX build, as shown. Now, choose Google Drive, option 2. The first time you do this, it will prompt you with a login link. Click on that, and log in using the test email you added earlier. Nice! Now you can go ahead and close that window. And, congratulations! Our build is officially uploaded to Google Drive, complete with a shiny downloadable link and a super cool QR code for easy sharing. And most important, 
Don't forget to add GD credentials.json file to .git ignore. All right, it's time to dive into the Slack configuration. Are you pumped? If you're feeling a bit tired, no worries. Pause the video, take a quick walk, grab a coffee, and come back recharged. And if you haven't smashed that subscribe button yet, now's your chance. Go ahead, we'll wait. And don't forget to check out our other videos while you're at it. Plenty of awesome content waiting for you. Welcome back. Let's quickly configure Slack. Go to Slack API, as shown. Now click on Create New App. Click on From Scratch, as shown. Now, give your app a meaningful name and choose the workspace where you want to integrate Flutter Release X. Now, go to OAuth and Permissions. Great! Now scroll down to the Bot Token Scope section and let's quickly add the required scopes. Add chat write scope and file write scope to bot token scopes, as shown. Perfect! Now scroll up and click on Install to your workspace. Click Allow. Congratulations! Now quickly copy bot user OAuth token. Now, Let's quickly grab the channel ID and user's member ID to mention then in message. Go to Slack and select the channel where you want Flutter Release X to notify build. And copy channel ID, real quick. Now, let's quickly fetch the user's member ID, which can be used for app mentions in Slack messages, and configure it in our file. Finally, let's quickly add our bot to our channel. Click on Members then Integration tab then add an app and choose your app that we created, like in our case it's Flutter Release X. Great! Time to see Flutter Release X in action. Run FRX build and choose Cloud option, and once build completes it will automatically notify in Slack along with downloadable link and QR code. Congratulations! You've successfully integrated Flutter Release X. Amazing work! And with this let's wrap. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more coding tips and tricks. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below, and we'll be happy to help. Stay tuned for more, and remember, keep building, keep creating, and most importantly, keep conquering.